Um, hi, I'm Lisa, and this is my partner, Emily. For our Material Science 337 project, we designed a heat generation fabric from conducting powders. So growing up in the Chicagoland area, I know just how cold it can get. And with a heat generating fabric, this can be easily implemented into gloves or scarves so you can keep yourself warm all winter long. This exposure to cold temperatures can result in frostbite, in which tissues can freeze. This is especially common in the extremities, such as the fingers. In order to prevent these hazardous problems, thermoelectric materials can be integrated into gloves to provide heat generation. Our team proposed the design of heat generating gloves with the use of polyanalyte coated cotton. Okay. Um, so conducting polymers are ideal for heat generating fabrics because they are easily processed, flexible, and tunable. The polymers are solution processable, which is easily scaled up for manufacturing. Flexibility is easily important in gloves and to maintain dexterity. Due to the synthetic nature of conducting polymers, their electronic properties are tunable and can result in different levels of conductivity. This can then lead to different amounts of heat generation and be applied to a variety of accessories, from scarves to jackets, etc. When current flows through a resistor, electrical energy is converted into heat energy. The power or rate of heat dissipation is proportional to the current and resistance. Therefore, conducting polymers can be coated onto a fabric substrate as a resistor to generate heat when connected to a battery. Previous work in polypyrrole coated materials show that heat generation is not affected by holes or cuts in fabrics, and a continuous film produces more even heat generation. There have also been previous studies on the thermal stability of conducting polymers, but research has not shown them to degrade with an applied voltage. So we used a one pole synthesis of polyaniline to coat a cotton sub substrate. We dissolved the aniline monomer into HCl in one reaction vessel and ammonium persulfate in HCl in another. The two solutions were combined and then the cotton was added to provide nucleation site for more, more even coating. As the polymerization reaction goes to completion, the solution turns from clear to dark blue. After soaking for 30 minutes, the samples were removed to dry. We repeated this so that we can make a set of samples that were coated once, twice, and three times. From our experimentation, we could see that one coating was not sufficient to provide an even coating, so we focused on samples with two and three coatings. After preparing with copper tape, we measured the resistance of these samples. We found higher resistances in the samples with more coatings. We then connected the prepared samples to a DC power source and observed the temperature change with applied different voltages under IR microscopy. With an applied voltage of 5 volts, the triple coated sample raised the temperature from room temperature to 27.5 degrees Celsius. With 10 volts, 39 degrees Celsius and with 22.5 volts, 91 degrees Celsius. This proved to be the best heat generator. The temperature differences decreased slightly with washing in H2O. This shows that the product is still feasible after washing, which is important in mitigating excess chemical residue. So in conclusion, we have designed an easily processable, lightweight, and flexible heat generating fabric, which makes it perfect for integrating into gloves or scarves.